Hello there. My name is Dr. Sage. I will be taking care of your full body examination today, all right? Okay. Is there any particular reason why you wanted a full body exam today? I see. No, that's perfectly fine. Preventative health care is smart health care. All right, I'm going to start out by just asking a few questions, okay? And then we'll get into the exam. Could you confirm your first and last name and your date of birth for me? Okay, perfect. Do you have any known allergies? Okay. Would you say that's mild or severe? Okay. Are you on any prescribed medications right now? All right. How about, do you take any supplements or vitamins or anything like that? Okay. Have you had any falls or injuries in the last 12 months or so? Okay. Any hospitalizations in the past 12 months, and for what? Okay. Any changes to your family his, uh, medical history at all? Okay. Good. Do you or an immediate relative have a history of high blood pressure? All right, about hypertension, okay, breathing or lung disorders, all right, heart palpitations, okay, sudden dizziness or nausea, all right, hypoglycemia, okay, Abnormalities in vision or hearing. Okay. Do you suffer from migraines at all? Okay. Good. Any other changes to your medical record that we should know about? Okay, perfect. And is there anything specific that you wanted me to look at today? I mean, of course, we'll be doing a comprehensive exam, but if there's any issues that you've had recently that you want me to check on, you know, definitely let me know. Okay. Well, if you think of anything, you stop me at any time, okay? If you have any questions about anything that I'm doing, anything like that, I will try to explain everything that I'm doing, but if I go through anything too quickly, please let me know. This is your appointment after all. This is your time to ask any questions that you might need. Okay. All right. Well, that does it for my questions, as long as you don't have anything else that you'd like to discuss. So we can go ahead and start the exam, okay? All right. Let me just pop on a pair of gloves. Now I'm going to start out just by taking your vitals, so very simple, just things like temperature, blood pressure, and your pulse, all right? Just to sort of give us a base. All right, if you could open your mouth, please. This goes underneath the tongue, right like that, good. We'll just wait for that for just a moment. All right, perfect, 98.4. Perfectly normal, perfectly healthy. All right, now let's 
take your blood pressure. Do you have a preference on which arm you would like me to use? Okay, no problem. And uh, if you could uncross your legs, please, just put your feet nice and flat on the floor. Try to keep your breathing as steady as possible, okay? Alright, I'm just going to wrap this around your arm here. It should be snug, but not uncomfortable. Is that alright? Okay, good. Alright, remember to just take nice deep breaths for me. Alright, looks like we are at 120 over 70. Good job. That's slightly high. It's on... It's still within the normal range, but it's a little on the higher side, but nothing to be concerned about, especially if you don't normally have high blood pressure. Okay, you know what? We'll take it one more time at the end just to make sure, okay? Sometimes just the act of getting into a doctor's appointment can make people's blood pressure and pulse go a little bit higher. Just take a note of that here. And then if you wouldn't mind holding out your wrist, please, I'll take your pulse. All right, pulse rate of about 72. That is an excellent resting heart rate. Perfect. All right, that will do it for your vitals, just to get us started. Now I would like to listen to your heart and your lungs, all right? Okay. Now, is it all right if I lift your shirt up a little bit? Okay, thank you. I'm just going to put this underneath right there. There we go. And just breathe normally for me. Just try to relax, okay? I'm just going to be listening to each of the different chambers in the heart. Okay. Listening for any sort of abnormalities, any blockages from fluid or heart murmurs, anything like that. All right. All of that sounds very healthy. Good. Sounds like you got a strong ticker in there. Good. All right, now I'm going to start listening to your lungs right here. You can just breathe normally again for now. Just relax to make sure there's not any sort of fluid or scratchiness, anything like that in the lungs. Okay. Could you take a deep breath for me, please? Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. One more time. Excellent. I'm going to move back over here. All right. Breathe in. And out. And one more time. All right, good. Everything sounds good from this side. I'm going to come around on the back and we'll do the same thing again, okay? Is it all right if I lift up your shirt in the back a bit? All right, thank you. All right. Would you take a deep breath from me again? Breathe in. Good. And one more time. Breathe in. Excellent. Everything sounds good on that side. Come over here and we'll do the same thing again. All right, deep breath in. Good. And last time, breathe in. Good. All right, and now just breathe normally for me. Just try to take nice, relaxed breaths. 
good. Good, I don't hear any sort of abnormalities or fluid or anything like that, so sounds like your lungs are perfectly healthy. Alright. Perfect. Well, you're passing with flying colors, so. Alright, now we're going to move on to the facial and sinus exam, okay? So I'm just going to be feeling around your face a little bit, putting a little bit of pressure just to make sure that there isn't any sort of fluid buildup or abnormalities in that, okay? Alright, so I'm just going to come in quite close and just pop it along here. Does any of that cause any sort of pain or discomfort? Good, good. Doesn't feel like there's any sort of fluids or any buildup in the sinuses. That's excellent. I feel up here along the brow bones. Any pain around there at all? Alright. Good, good. I'm just gonna feel down your jaw here. Anything here causing any pain? Do you feel any pain, you know, naturally? Do you have tightness of the jaw when you wake up in the morning or anything like that? Okay. When was the last time you got in to see a dentist? Alright, good, good. Regular checkups at the dentist are just as important as the doctor. Alright, now I'm going to just feel down your neck a little bit. I'm feeling for your lymph nodes. Make sure that there isn't any sort of swelling in there, okay? Alright. Any pain or discomfort? Okay. You'll hear me say that a lot. <laughs> Just want to make sure. If anything does hurt at all, please stop me right away. Alright. I don't feel any abnormalities or fluids or anything like that over there. Good. I'm going to just feel along your clavicle, your bones along your collar here, okay? Just to make sure that everything's alright. Any pain or pressure there? Okay. Good, good. Alright, all of that looks good. Nice job. Sinuses, brown bones. Alright, now I'd like you to make a few different facial expressions for me, okay? These are part of your cranial nerves. They are just responsible for different movements and sensations in your face and your head, okay? So, could you give me a nice big smile, please? Good. Can you frown for me? Good. Can you open your mouth nice and wide? Good. And then close it nice and tight. Good, 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 good. Can you puff out your cheeks for me? Good, alright. Now try to resist when I try to push your cheeks in. Alright, good, good, good. Now, we're going to play a little game called Sharp or Soft. So in a moment, I'm going to have you close your eyes. And I will be using either this nice, soft little brush or this little toothpick here. I'll be touching your face in different places, and I want you to tell me if it is sharp or soft, okay? All right, so close your eyes. Sharp, good job. Soft. Well done. Good job. Open your eyes. Well done. All right. 
Now we're going to do something similar. You're going to be feeling around your head, okay? So feeling into your scalp a little bit. I'll be pressing on your temples a little and feeling around your ears just to make sure that there isn't any uncomfortable pressure or fractures or anything like that, okay? Okay, so you can just relax. I'm just going to take a look at your scalp here. Make sure that there isn't any dryness in the skin. Do you suffer from dandruff at all? Okay. Yeah, there are some different shampoos that you can get to help with that. Also, just doing a nice rinse of your hair with something like a apple cider vinegar can be really helpful too. And not using really hot water in the shower. If you do more of a lukewarm shower, especially when you're rinsing your hair, that can help to control things like dandruff. I know some people like their showers the temperature of the sun, but it's actually not very good for your skin. Contrary to popular belief, your skin is not meant to go in the sun. All right, I'm going to press on your temples right here. Any pain when I do that? Okay. I'm just gonna come around here, feel some of this bone structure. No pain around here either? All right, good. How about when I press behind your ears there? Anything there that hurts? All right, good, good. Okay, now, can you turn your neck for me this way? Good. Turn this way. Good. Shake your head now. Nod your head yes. Good. Can you do some gentle circles with your head? Excellent. Any of that cause any discomfort or pain? All right, good. Didn't feel like there was any sort of abnormalities in the head, face, or neck at all. Next, we're going to do some smelling samples, okay? I'm going to hold a different little vial under your nose and you tell me what you think it smells like. All right, here we go. Here's the first one. They all look pretty much the same, but they are different smells. You don't have to tell me exactly. But if it smells strong like citrus, minty or floral or something like that, that will do as well, okay? All right, so give that a good sniff. What does that smell like? Very good, that was pretty close. This is lavender, actually. All right, here. Let's try this one next. Same thing, just give me your best guess. We have. Give that one a sniff. Excellent cinnamon. Good job. It's a nice strong one. All right. What does that one smell like, dear? Very good. That one is lemon. And one more of these. Last one, you're doing great so far. Let me know what this one smells like too. Good job, that is peppermint. Excellent job. All right. Now, I'm going to do something pretty similar. Except this time we're going to test your taste, okay? We have a few different spray bottles that have different flavors in them. So I'm just going to spray this onto a little cotton swab, put it in your mouth, and you tell me whether you taste sweet or sour or bitter or spicy or salty. Okay? Those are the five major tastes. I just want to make sure that you can taste each of those. Open your mouth, please. There. 
does that one taste like? Good, good. That one is salty. Let's get our next one here. That one is sweet. Good job. And last one here. Tell me what this one tastes like. A little bit spicy. Good, good. Hopefully not too spicy. All right, good. It's a delicate balance because we want you to definitely be able to tell that it is spicy, but of course not burn your mouth. <laughs> all right, excellent job. You did a good job with all of those tastes there. Looks like that's a set of creamy wings. We're working just fine. Smell and taste. Perfectly normal. Alright, so now we're going to do a number of tests to test your vision, alright? Have you noticed any sort of difficulties with your vision? Okay, do you wear contacts or glasses normally? Alright, sounds good. Well, we will just do a few basic tests just to make sure that the cranial nerves around your eyes are working, okay? So the ones that control your pupil dilation, the fine motor skills of your eyes and the muscles around your eyes, okay? All right, so to start out, you can just look straight ahead at me, okay? You can just look at my nose. I'm just going to be shining a light in from the side here. Good. Very good. Try to keep your eyes open. Just testing to make sure that your pupils dilate when the light comes in. I'll constrict and then dilate. Good. Excellent. Alright. Excellent pupillary response there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold my hand in the middle of your vision, okay? But you can just keep looking straight ahead, please. Excellent. Good job. That was testing your consensual pupillary response. See, even if the light only shines in one eye, both of your eyes still constrict or dilate at the same rate. So, just want to make sure that that is happening. Good, good. All right. Now we're going to do a peripheral vision test, okay? So again, I would like you to just look right at my nose, okay? I'm going to take this light and move it out of your vision, and you tell me when you cannot see the light, okay? So don't move your head. Keep your eyes right here. Tell me when you can't see that light. Good job. Excellent. All right, good. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Wonderful. You're a pro at this. All right. Now, another test for your peripherals. I'm just going to hold my fingers up in the edges of your vision here. I want you to keep looking straight at me, okay? I'm just going to move one or the other of my fingers, and you tell me whether it is the right or the left. That's moving, okay? All right. Good job. All right. Good. 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 Excellent. Good job. Peripheral 
vision. Pass with flying colors again. All right, so now I'd like to just see how the actual oculomotor nerves are working, okay? So I'm just going to take my light and look in different regions of your eyes, and I'll tell you to look up or down or to side, to one side or the other, okay? Again, try not to move your head, just keep your neck nice and relaxed. Just move your eyes, okay? All right, so why don't we start? You can look up for me, okay? Look up, look up. Keep looking up, keep looking up. Good. All right, now look down for me. Good, good, good. Look down, look down. Good, all right. Now look to your right, please. Right, look to the right, to the right. Good, all right. And now look over here to the left. Good, excellent. All right. Now, I'd like you to close your eyes in just a moment, and I'm going to take my fingers and try to gently open your eyelids, and I want you to resist me, okay? All right, so close your eyes. Good. All right. Well done, well done. Okay. Now, I'm sure you've seen... One of these before? All right, good. We'll just do a few quick lines here, just to make sure that everything's all right. You tell me what this nice big letter is right here. Good. If you didn't know that one, that would be a problem. How about this third line? Can you read that across for me, please? Good, good. Let's get down to this fifth line here. Can you read any of that for me? Good. Okay, good. Let's try this next one here. What's this one? All right, this letter? This one? That one? That one? Okay, good. How about this line? Can we do any of this one? Good, good. Okay, all right. All right, and how about this bottom one down here? Can you make out any of those letters? All right, why don't you give this line a try for me? Okay. All right, sounds good. There were, oh, there were a few that you missed, but most people miss a few, don't worry. Still well within the range of normal. All right, next we're going to do a very simple color blindness test. This is called the Ishihara Colorblindness Test. I'm going to show you a series of circles that are made up of other circles of different colors. You tell me what number you see within the circle, okay? So, we'll start out with this one here. Do you see a number in there at all? Or can you tell me what it is? Good, good. Just like that. All right, and how about this one? Can you make out a number in that circle there? Well done, well done. All right, and how about this one? Can you see a number in there? All right. How about this one? Good, 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 good. How about that one? Well done, that one can be a little tricky. How about this one? Good, good. Oops. I'm just trying the wrong way. How about this one? Right, good. And last one. Can you see this one? All right, excellent. Good job. Doesn't look like there are any colors that are giving you a problem. Okay. Any questions about vision? Any recent changes in vision? All right. Good, good. Now, I would just like you to keep your head nice and straight for me, okay? I'm going to move my finger around in your vision. I want you to just follow my finger, okay? Try not to move your head or your neck at all. Just follow my finger with your eyes. Good. Good. It's going to get closer. Focus on that. Good. Good. Right. 
good. Well done. Looks like those ocular motor nerves are doing just fine. Alrighty. Now, let's take a look at those ears, shall we? I'm going to start out just feeling around your ears a little bit, making sure that there isn't any tension or pain or fluid buildup, anything like that, anything that might be a sign of an ear infection, okay? Alright, so I'm just going to come over to this ear here, just so gently around here. Any pain or discomfort when I press right here? Alright, how about back here? Okay, over here? Good. If I just tug a little bit right there, no pain? Good, alright. Not seeing anything on the surface. That's a good sign. Come over and do the same over here, okay? Alright. Any pain or discomfort when I press there? Good. How about back here? Good. How about over here? Alright. Good. Have you had any earaches lately in the last few months or so? Okay, any that persisted for more than a few days or that needed to be treated with medication? Okay. All right, now I'm going to come and just take a closer look with my light, okay? So you can just hold nice and still. I'm just going to come in here and get a good look. All right. I don't see any signs of inflammation or irritation. A little bit of earwax, but that's perfectly normal. All right, good. Come over here on the other side. Okay. Your canal looks very sturdy. I don't see any inflammation, fluid buildup, irritation, or tears to the skin. Good, 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 good. All right, those look just fine. Let's do just a quick hearing test, okay? So in a moment, I'll have you close your eyes. I'm going to move my fingers on one side or the other. And I want you to tell me if you hear it in your right ear or your left ear, okay? All right, so close your eyes. Let me know when you hear the sound. Good. Good. Excellent. Good. Good. Excellent. Good. All right, excellent. Now, for the next hearing test, I'm just going to come and whisper some numbers into your ear, okay? On one side or the other. And then after I whisper them, I want you to tell me which numbers you heard, okay? All right. Just any difficulty hearing lately at all? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, now let's move on to taking a look at your mouth and throat, okay? So, compressor here. Why don't you open your mouth nice and wide and say, ah. Good. Okay. 
don't see any swelling in the tonsils at all. Do you have any pain when you swallow? Okay, good. All right, now stick out your tongue all the way for me and say ah oh, again, please. Good, good. I'm just gonna put that on top of your tongue there. Just so I can get a good look down the throat. All right, yeah, I don't see any swelling, any infection. Very good. All right. Could you stick out your tongue for me again and lift your tongue up? Good. Lift it down. Good. And to the left. And to the right. Good. All right. Now, let's take a look at your torso and your extremities a little bit, okay? So I'm going to start out just looking at your shoulders. I'm going to press down on them a little bit just to see if there's any sort of pain or discomfort with that, okay? All right. Bone structure feels okay there. All right. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? Good. Roll them a little bit. Good. Okay. Now... I'm going to try to push your shoulders down, and I want you to try to resist me, okay? Good, good, all right. Now, let's take a look at your arms over here. Just want to make sure there isn't any sort of irritation on the skin, or tearing, any sort of irritations have any sort of rashes or things like that lately. Okay, good. Can I squeeze here? Does that hurt at all? Okay, good. All right, and how about this hand down here? Could you make a fist for me? Good. And open it up all the way. Good. Any pain when I squeeze your hand like that? All right, good. Now, could you roll it like this for me? Roll your wrist. Good. Any pain or discomfort with that? All right, excellent. Okay, I'm just going to press back on your hand a little bit there. Feel some pressure there, but nothing painful. All right, good, 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 good. All right, take a look at this arm over here. No abrasions or uncomfortable swelling or anything. Good. Don't see anything cause of concern. Good. All right. No pain when I squeeze your arm a little bit there. Good. Up here, no pain. All right. All right, now, could you make a fist for me, please? Good. Open your hand all the way up. Excellent. And roll that one a little bit for me. Good. All right. Now, I'd like to test your upper body strength a little bit. So I want you to hold your arms out in front of you straight out, okay? I'm going to try to push down on them a little bit, and I want you to, again, resist me. Okay. Good. All right. Now I'm going to try to pull up and you keep them in place, okay? Good. All right. Now I would like to listen to your abdominals a little bit, if that's all right with you. Okay. So I'm going to start out just taking my stethoscope and placing it on your stomach. I'm just going to be listening for any sort of movements in your stomach, your abs, your intestines, anything like that, okay? Is it all right if I lift your shirt up a little? Thank you. All right, you can just breathe normally. All right, good. Very active, that's normal. Everybody's digestive systems are rather noisy. <laughs> Just making sure that I don't hear anything that sounds like there's pressure or 
too much fluid. Okay. Good. All right, good. Now I'm just going to actually press down on your abdomen just a little bit, all right? Just sort of palpate around the area. I'm trying to elicit the right kinds of sounds, <laughs> the right sort of sounds in the stomach and intestines. Okay, so I'm just going to press down here a little bit. Feel around, make sure that everything doesn't feel inflamed or anything. Good. Lots of noise, that's good. <laughs> Okay, good. Doesn't sound like anything to be worried about. <laughs> Perfectly normal stomach sounds. All right. Now, let's test your reflexes a little bit. Right? Just got this little rubber mallet here, okay? I'm just going to tap each of your knees, make sure that your reflexes are working all right. Good. Other side. Good. All right. I'm going to do the same right here above your elbow. There's a spot right here. Good, 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 good. All right, excellent. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it looks like you are in excellent health, <laughs> as long as there isn't anything that's been troubling you, anything else that you'd like to go over. Okay, let's take your blood pressure one more time, okay? Now that you've been sitting for a little while, let's just make sure we get a good reading on that, okay? Here we go. Just take nice, relaxed breaths for me. Good, good. 100 over 60 now. Excellent. Excellent blood pressure. Sometimes going to the doctor can just make people feel a little bit nervous. That's okay. It is perfectly understandable. But like I said, coming in for a checkup is just a great way to take care of yourself. Because then if there is something wrong, we can catch it and address it and usually fix the problem before it becomes too much of an issue. So I'm glad that you chose to come in today. Well, do you have any other questions for me? Okay, well, you did an excellent job today. As I said, you look like you have a clean bill of health. Well, if you have any other questions, any sort of pain or something that feels abnormal, please don't hesitate to call. That's what we're here for, and I would love to see you. And take care of whatever it is that you need taken care of, all right? Okay. And if nothing comes up, then I will see you next year for your next physical. All right. Have a great day.